Hi everyone, this is Jen from Scrapping Posh and I am here with a crafty AliExpress haul and um, this one here are stamps and dies and um, I already used her so she's kind of hard to see. This one is uh, Jane Austen. Uh, the stamps are really flimsy and I, I did stamp Jane and uh, I had to stamp her a couple times so use your stamp uh, thing and you should be good. Um, there is uh, Obstinate Headstrong Girl. One cannot have too large of a party and I believe after all there is no enjoyment like reading. So you get Jane Austen and there's the little die and these were less than five dollars a set. And the store is Angela, A-N-J-I-E-L-A -E store. And I got Cleopatra and her die. And the sayings on this one is, may wings be, may the wings of your eyeliner always be even, bolder than my something sharper than my eyeliner and oh, I'll have to, oh, lipstick bolder than my lipstick sharper than my eyeliner and age cannot wither her so there is Cleopatra I got Salvador Dali which I thought was neat because you don't see Salvador Dali a lot but he has his uh, his little withering clock there wishing you a wonderful weird and uh, wishing you a weird and wonderful day. I am not strange. I am just not normal. And it says by Salvador Dali. Have no fear of perfection. You'll never reach it. So that's cute. And I got the die for him. I got Leonardo da Vinci. Smile, it's your day. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. And he has his little flying machine. And there is his die. So I'm really excited to use these. Because I, I really like... Um, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jane Austen, or Leonardo DiCaprio, Leonardo da Vinci, Jane Austen, and uh, Salvador Dali, but then I went ahead and got Cleopatra and Julius Caesar. I came, I saw, I wish you a happy birthday, Emperor for the day, and hail. And there's his die. And then, because I was four dollars away from free shipping, I went ahead and got this cupcake set. And it just says, let's celebrate you and have a sweet day and birthday wishes. And then you have all the dice that go with that. So, um, yeah, that was a total order of, with tax, $30.42, which I thought that was pretty good. And that's current pricing, of course, so um, it may change. Uh, second items I got, and this one is from MX. Viridis store, so M-X-V-I-E-R-U-O-D-I-S. He was on sale for $14.22 with free shipping, so out the door it was $15.56. It didn't take very long to get here, and this is the, um, I think it's the Cake Diary one. I'm not positive, so, um, no, it's the Kitten Diary one. So it's this one here. So it has this cat and it's just a cute little thing. This is the second one I got of these um, that I haven't put together yet. So hopefully I'll be able to put some of these together for you. It did come kind of damaged. I don't know if it was customs or uh, what. But everything on the inside is wonderful. So that'll be fun. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it the way it is or if I'm going to customize it a bit. I wouldn't mind having... I wouldn't mind having all of them, but I like the Cake Diary one, too. So that was my second item. My third store is called Duo Jane Handy Craft Store. So D-U-O Jane Handy Craft Store. And this is a lot of cut pieces. So I've already opened it. But I'm going to show you guys what came in each little envelope. So, um, we'll do the easy ones first. Um, first, she sent me a little thank you. 
Um, yep, valued customer. Very nice. She sent me a free sticker, uh, free sticker emoji sheet. I gave that one to my daughter, so it was full. Uh, that was cute and nice. Um, I got the Judy Craft Junk Journal Sentiment sticker. So there's 528 pieces in there in black and white. I'm not going to open them, but there's four pages of each. I like these for junk journaling, art journaling, and uh, ATC cards. So just black with white text and white with black text. I got the, um, let's see here. This is called the Vintage Library Book Stickers for travel, junk journal, paper craft, etc. And I'm not going to show you all of them, but I will show you a stack. So this is for uh, junk journaling. Well, it can be for junk journaling. Again, ATC cards, um, art journaling. So there's that, and the little card on the back is also nice. I got the Alice in Wonderland Vintage, it's called Vintage Girls Rabbit Journaling Stickers DIY Journal Scrapbook A and B. So these are Alice in Wonderland stickers. I thought they'd be nice to go with my um, leftover Alice in Wonderland journaling cards. And there are, I don't know if it says how many there are in here, but there's a good bit. And they are the vinyl stickers, so they're nice and shiny um, and smooth. They're probably water resistant. That matters to you. There's probably a good 20 or so in those, and they're both a little different. So those are my Alice in Wonderland stickers. And I will tell you guys that I can print all these by myself, and I could cut them out on my Cameo, but there comes a point in time where it's just cheaper <laughs> uh, time-wise to have somebody else... Um, do that for you and AliExpress is a great one to do so. Okay, the other thing that I got here is this one is um, obvious, it's Harry Potter inspired um, 45 old book page background paper label stickers junk journal and it goes on and this is the A set. They're, they had more than one set but this is for a Harry Potter junk journal that I'm hoping to make soon. You can make, you can use the, um, well, I guess these are pages. So perfect for your Harry Potter junk journal. And I told you, I, I'm sorry, I haven't been telling you the prices. This was $4.79 for um, and it's not the part of the process that I enjoy. Plus, there's vellum, there's newsprint, um, there's, you know, small pieces, large pieces. There's the Dumbledore's Army. I would have never uh, thought to do that. There's some pictures. I mean, this is going to make a grand junk journal, and I am more than happy to purchase these items. This is a... Uh, this is like a textured cardstock. So, yeah, this one uh, again is called 45 Pieces Old Book Journal. Cute, cute, cute. Gilderoy, I'm loving everything here. And then some of these, even, I could probably even like post on my, um, in my miniatures, like a um, poster or something like that. So. Some of them would be way too big, but some of them would work. So there is that for $4.79. I should go back there and tell you the pricing. Um, these little guys were $1.49 per package. Uh, the stickers here were $1.99. And this little guy journaling, um, there's over uh, 528 pieces in... It's eight sheets, two dollars and seventy-nine cents. So there's my little. Sorry, I forgot to mention that before. Okay, so now I have the square English poster stickers. Um, this was a dollar fifty-nine. So these are stickers, and they are 
super cute. They are the proclamations uh, from the educational degree. Uh, and then I was flipping through these. There's one that says it's just like the template, which is really funny. There are some wanted posters that would be cute in the diagonale. Um, undesirable number two. There's a newspaper. Undesirable number one. Harry. Uh, High Inquisitor. There's Sirius Black again. So a little bit of uh, no music to be played during study hours. Um, yeah, so there's some... I wanted to find the one that said use this as a template because it's it's funny absolutely no muggle attire allowed broomsticks may not be used in the corridors but yeah so they obviously bought or found an online template oh I wish I could find it Maybe I have two of these. Maybe that's why I can't find it. So this is, uh, yep, this is set A. Um, I'm not sure where set B may be, but we'll, if we find it, we find it if, if I bought it. So, but yeah, those are super cute. Again, for a Harry Potter junk journal would be perfect. And then I've got two sets of, it's called 45 Pieces, old book, journal, background, paper label, <laughs> stickers, um, and these two, I bought two of these and they are $4.99 each and there are some repeats in them. They come in this cute envelope which can also be used of course in your um, junk journal. So uh, and it's just a, it's a real thin envelope but it's lined with uh, some plasticky material. I'll start with the big stuff. And this is the same prints as the bigger one just smaller, not all of them. And there's Dumbledore, we haven't seen him yet. And then Vellum. So yeah, for me it's just way worth it. Hogwarts. Um, yeah, so you can either go, you can go about this Harry Potter junk journal two different ways, and I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with yet. Like, am I being, am I going to be Harry Potter? Or somebody from the wizarding world, or am I going to be, um, you know, just enjoying the movies and the stories and be a fan? I don't know. You can go two ways with it. I kind of like the, um the aspect that you are in the story but it's a little harder to do obviously than if you're just doing that you're a fan uh, and I did just watch Fantastic Beasts 3 we went to the movie theater uh, I almost didn't go see it because of the whole Johnny Depp thing I don't think it's fair but whatever uh, I did go see it though because I am a diehard fan and uh, it was way better than the second one if you are a Fantastic Beast fan and you were disappointed with the second one you I think you'll they uh, definitely recovered a bit the second one was plot real plot heavy and didn't have any like real resolution at the end so this one's much better if you can get past the first five minutes without dying not a spoiler, but gah, I about keeled over. Okay, and then there's just some Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. These look like, um, they're Cedric. These look like little coloring pages. I don't recall seeing any of these in my coloring books, but somebody sketched them up. I got two Rons. Okay, and there is the first package of that along with my movie I don't know <laughs> review and then this is package B and it, there are some duplicates so or maybe it's the same daggone thing I don't know there um, you tell me. It looks like the same thing. So we'll flip through this pretty fast, but that's okay. 
we can make two junk journals or we can make a uh, junk journal and a yeah, these are the same. Okay, so we can make a junk journal from Harry Potter or a student's point of view. We can make a junk journal from a fan's point of view. Okay, so that is my pa my AliExpress haul. Um, that's that last little doodah there all together was twenty four ninety five. So I think it was a wonderful deal. Uh, it didn't take too long to get here. So if you uh, if you're interested in anything like this, if you don't want to use the resources up front to get your own printed material, uh, I think the stamps or stamps and dies are well worth it. I haven't used the dies yet, so I can't do a review on those. I'll try and make a video. I uh, can't wait to put together this kit, and then of course my Harry Potter isk um, stickers and such. So thanks a lot. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe, and come on back and see what I do with these. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.